Hi, I really appreciate you joining me here today. I'm Laura Duffy and I'm a childbirth educator, birth doula, postpartum doula, and childbirth and parenting consultant. I've been working with expectant families for over 12 years now. I've had two of my own birth experiences, one in the hospital and one at home, and they were both calm and relaxed. For over 10 years, I've been helping expectant families have more calm and relaxed childbirth experiences. I've worked with midwives, naturopathic doctors, obstetricians, family physicians, doulas, and many more specialists. My specialty is in helping pregnant women have mindful experiences without accepting unnecessary interventions. These often unnecessary interventions can cause a cascade of, inter of more interventions, meaning one leads to another and another. We'll be getting into some real coaching here, so please close out any distractions and be sure to take note of any questions that may come up in your head along the way. We exist to help expectant families improve their pregnancy and childbirth experience. We feel that women's needs and maternity care have been ignored for too long. We all know that the childbirth process has been overcomplicated and overmedicalized, and our aim is to simplify the childbirth process through education, support, and practice. The power to give birth is innate in every woman, but the knowledge of how has been obscured. You can reclaim this with education and confidence. For the last hundred years, the industrial age gave us industrial health care. There was no place for the human spirit, intuition, or for that matter, a calm and relaxed childbirth. There's no better time in history than right now. Yes, there is a place for medical assistance, and we are so very thankful for it. But there is a movement towards a more natural childbirth, and I'm so happy that you're here and being a part of this movement. Here's what you're going to discover during this workshop. It's my mainly mindful method, and it's a learning system consisting of five points. These all work together to enhance the mind-body-spirit connection during labor and birth. Number one is psychology, how your mind can support you. Number two, the relaxation response. Three, physiology, activating the birthing body. Four, how baby works together with your body. And five, staying comfortable during labor and birth. Please stick around until the very end and we'll give you some very helpful tools for your pregnancy toolbox. And don't worry about trying to take extensive notes. I'll provide you with a copy before we're done today. Does this sound familiar? You're having a healthy pregnancy, but you're afraid of the birth process. Maybe you've seen births where the mom is in pain or on pain medication and is unable to move or stay engaged during birth. Are you terrified of all the things that could go wrong, struggling to break free from the common birth anxiety? Well, I want you to know that you can stay aware throughout your birth without having to endure pain and struggle. You can become confident and empowered about your birth, even if you have other things out of your control. This is your birth experience. And while you cannot predict the entire event, you can set intentions and feel strong, ultimately enhancing your experience. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to give you my crib sheet. This is a cheat sheet for your support partner. They won't have to wonder about how to keep you comfortable and stay helpful while you're doing the work of birthing the baby into the world. Many expectant families are scared of childbirth. They're worried about the unknowns. Why do some stories express amazing birth experiences while some women seem traumatized by birth? The stress these families are experiencing in many cases causes a harder pregnancy. I want to make this all easier for you. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to give you my crib sheet. This is a cheat sheet for your support partner. They won't have to wonder about how to keep you comfortable, and they'll be able to stand more helpful while you're doing the work of bringing baby into the world. If by the end of this presentation, you felt more confident about your ability to have a calm and relaxed birth without any intervention that wasn't 100% necessary, would that make you happy? Would that make your pregnancy easier and more joyful? If you have any questions come up, please put them in the chat box. Even though this experience is pre-recorded, you'll get an email with your answers. My goal is to help you have the most relaxed childbirth possible without unnecessary interventions. No, you don't need a 14-hour birth class or to be a yogi or a master meditator. I got into this work when we were expecting our second daughter. I had taken a childbirth class and I'd already been through a long labor and hospital birth with our first. When I saw how so many women struggle with the memory of a hard birth experience, I felt so very grateful that the tools that we used made our long, semi-complicated birth a lot easier. 
I wanted to give the women the tools to make their birth experiences better, leaving a joyful long-term memory. I went on to have my second calm and relaxed birth at home, and I've seen countless other women have calm and relaxed births using the tools that I'm sharing with you today. And it's not just me. I don't have a superhuman reproductive system. I'm not more tolerant of pain than anyone else. No, I'm pretty tough. We get so much feedback from other families that they too have been able to impact their birth experience through proper preparation. Some are first-time parents and others want a better experience by child number two and beyond. In fact, Erica raves about her birth experiences after learning these techniques. She's had four great birth experiences with a mix of at home and in the hospital births. Emily birthed both her little ones at home without interventions and says, this class was the first time my husband and I really sat and learned about childbirth together. I had been reading plenty of books, but couldn't get him to. The class was a great interactive way to get us on the same page about what this childbirth experience entails and inspired more meaningful and informed conversations between us about what to expect, how to prepare, our roles, and so on. Why even try, why even try for a low intervention birth? With modern technology, isn't a natural birth outdated? Let me know if these things sound outdated to you. Faster recovery, earlier walking for mom, leaving the hospital sooner, no major incision in the abdomen, which requires a longer recovery, less pain, although some lacerations of the vagina can be pretty uncomfortable, less risk of excessive bleeding, less chance of infection and scarring, less risk of blood clots, earlier bonding and breastfeeding for the baby, let's less baby breathing difficulties because the lung fluid is squeezed out by the birth process, exposure to mother's microbiome improves immunity for baby, subsequent vaginal births are generally easier and faster, and the list just goes on. With the five keys I'm gonna share with you, my promise to you is a step-by-step -step strategy for having a calm and relaxed childbirth experience without the unnecessary interventions and confusion that leads to other people making your decisions for you. Plus some crucial things you need to understand. So let's get started. Most of what we've been told about childbirth is completely wrong. The real problem? Well, the real problem is that the wisdom of childbirth got lost. We need to remember the traditional and transcendent journey of childbirth. You need the same time-tested strategies to give birth without fear and anxiety. The one thing that you need to know is that pregnant women can have calm and relaxed childbirths with education, practice, and support. If you're like many people, you know you deserve an amazing birth, but the childbirth scares the heck out of you. Good news, the childbirth experience is changing. Well, it's actually returning. At the turn of the 20th century, in the Industrial Revolution, childbirth was turned into a medical business. Today, the popular birth practices are still focused on profits and efficiency rather than the health of women and babies. Today, the rate of natural births is increasing, likely due to a movement toward more natural, whole food, homesteading, organic, natural health states of mind. Full disclosure, I struggled too. I was in the midst of things possibly going in a direction that I didn't want. We were 12 hours into labor when our nurse midwife let us know that I was only dilated one centimeter. And yes, the general goal is 10. They did kindly remind us that there were only two ways that baby can come out. And if we didn't eventually dilate, a cesarean birth would be our only option. The clock was ticking and potential interventions were at the ready. We were getting tired. We didn't know why I wasn't dilating. They didn't know why I wasn't dilating. Now what? This was definitely not on our birth plan. This was a whole new ball game. Luckily, we knew what to do. We asked the most important questions. Is baby okay? Yeah. Is mom okay? Yeah. Well, then we don't have to do anything right now. The answers gave us confidence in our situation. We weren't being reckless by avoiding unnecessary interventions. We were coming from an informed place, a place of strength. That strength gave us time. And that was so important as it was time enough for the hospital staff to determine that I actually had scar tissue on my cervix. And that was not allowing me to dilate. We were able to manipulate the scar tissue and followed on to have the relaxed vaginal birth that we had hoped for. 
So if you're nervous about things going wrong or making the wrong choice in childbirth, I totally get it. And keep in mind, it all changed when we decided to be empowered and strong before even going into birth. The shift occurred before the experience, and it was a leverage point that changed our whole birthing, postpartum, and parenting experience. We decided to find teachers, learn from others, and embrace our birth. Our lives changed forever. We had an amazing, yes, long, but amazing birth experience in the hospital, followed by an amazing home birth experience. The memories are ones that I'll hold dear for a lifetime because we stayed calm, relaxed, and mindful. We discovered the practices that triggered the relaxation response. This is the key for a more calm and relaxed birthing experience. Stop listening to scary birth stories or to anyone telling you what to be afraid of. Start believing in your body's inherent ability to birth your baby. Here's why this is important. Expectant parents have been able to affect their childbirth with my mainly mindful method. This is a simple system for affecting change in your childbirth. This can help you create an awesome birth experience with just 10 minutes a day. So let's get into the five simple steps to trigger a calm and relaxed birth. Number one, release fear. Two, breathe. Three, understand the birth body connection. Four, pelvic prep. Five, set your intentions. Here's why this is so important. When you're able to breathe and get enough oxygen into your bloodstream, your body will open up in a way that will calm and relax you. By understanding how your brain, uterus, and cervix work together, you'll have a newfound confidence in your ability to give birth. You have to be in training your body to do what it wants to do naturally. Do a few key practices to prepare you like you would for an athletic event, but you don't have to be an athlete. The miracle of birth has a few key secrets, and once you know them, you begin to understand why there is nothing to fear. Nature has everything in place for you to have an amazing transformative experience without trauma to you or your baby. Side note, did you ever notice that birth was actually happening before we had a modern medical system? Just saying. If you go into childbirth with any fear, consciously or subconsciously, your body will be working against itself during birth. And clearly, we want the exact opposite. With confidence and empowerment, your mind is able to create relaxation in your body. This is where those negative birth stories do you more harm than good. Starting now, please don't let anyone tell you about their birth experience unless it's a positive one. Your mind is powerful and it takes programming seriously. Decide where you'll feel safe to birth and expect it to be awesome. When you're able to breathe and get enough oxygen into your bloodstream, your body will open up in a way that will calm and relax you. Getting to the point of crowning does take time, patience, and breathing, and the timing varies with every birth. Mom needs to remain relaxed, and she needs to breathe. When we hold our breath in any situation in life, we set our body into fight or flight mode. Our body isn't getting what it needs, blood flow and oxygen, and so it sends out alerts which triggers the release of catecholamines, your stressor hormones. Stressor hormones are not what we want for a calm and relaxed birthing. When mom is relaxed in her mind and breathing through every wave, her body remains calm and her mind and her body release endorphins, which are the body's natural pain relief. Practice long, slow breaths every day. The longer and slower, the better. Step three, by understanding how your brain, uterus, and cervix work together, you'll have a newfound confidence in your ability to give birth. Did you know that there are three layers of the uterus? They help push baby down throughout labor with the help from our friend oxytocin. Oxytocin is a hormone that our body releases naturally during labor, which causes the waves or the contractions. The cervix thins and opens and baby wiggles their way down and your fetal ejection reflex kicks in. Just a quick note, you can see that there's a lot to learn and we can't go into sufficient detail here for the time allotted. In the Mainly Mindful Birth course, we go deep on these topics. We go deeper on the history of birth, stages of birth, positions for labor and birth, comfort measures, mind-body connection, relaxation, birth plans, companion involvement, and more. We have tools to help you release fear, as well as techniques to help prepare your birthing body.
We go into more detail on all these five steps as well. We learn from all of our birth experiences. Click the link for more information. Step four, why yes, you can prepare your pelvis for childbirth. If you were going to run a marathon, you'd probably prepare your body. Yes, the whole body would need training, and you can also train your whole body one area at a time for childbirth. Some women have tight pelvic floor muscles and need to learn how to release the pressure. If you've had pelvic pain issues, it's great to see a pelvic floor specialist. You'll need to learn some massage techniques to limit the possibility of episiotomy. Your pelvic region needs to prepare by stretching certain tendons and ligaments and making them more pliable. I recommend perineal massage as it helped prevent tearing for me and others credit it as well. Squats are also a way to improve pelvic floor health, and we need to be sure to keep proper form when doing this. There are also different stretches and poses that you can get into to help with mama's comfort as well as baby's positioning. Step five, set your intentions. If you have a birth philosophy in place, it makes the small decisions easier. You don't need to decide every action of childbirth in advance. I recommend setting intentions and staying flexible. The key is a good birth experience. For instance, if you intend to have a natural birth and it seems to be taking a long time, your care providers may suggest an intervention to move things along more quickly. You can plan ahead by stating, if I'm safe and baby is safe, then we don't need to intervene. A few things to avoid. Sometimes someone will get a lot of education and still struggle through the birth experience. Don't wait until birthing day to practice these methods. Birthing is a natural process and it is a physical event worth training for. Don't give your power away. Care providers are your support team. Let them support you. And don't listen to negative stories. There is 100% a place for these stories as yes, they need to be shared just not with expectant mamas. Please limit overall stress as much as possible. This is so important because we're actually preparing our bodies and our minds for birth. Studies are finding a positive birth experience can have lasting benefits from strengthening the relationships of the family to improving the self-confidence of the whole family. And the birth experience is a bonding opportunity. Dr. Deepak Chopra says, a close attachment can prevent diseases, boost immunity, and enhance IQ in your baby. This means that the birth experience is most important for the baby's long-term physical, mental, and emotional life. What we didn't know was that bonding begins during pregnancy, not after. What I've just shown you is the exact formula I've personally used to have two amazing and calm birth experiences. And if you'd like me to help you implement everything we've gone over, I'd be honored. Here's how we'll do it. Introducing Mainly Mindful Birth Program. You've heard my story. By now, you know what I'm saying can help you. Mainly Mindful Birth includes preparing your mind so you can turn your brain into a pain relief machine, preparing your body so you can work with it instead of against it. Think about this. If you can stay present, calm, and relaxed during your childbirth, it's the ultimate way to have a great birth experience. Starting a new life from a strong place. Get the knowledge you need to have your baby without feeling intimidated. Get the skills you need to give birth without agonizing over the process and get the tools that you need to forgo unnecessary interventions. How does it work? Well, we have 12 video modules to take you step-by-step -step through each piece. You can watch the videos and download the worksheets all without leaving the comfort of your own home. You can take it one video at a time or binge watch them all at once. And you can go back and revisit them too. The five steps we covered are what you must know to have a calm and relaxed birth. Whether you enroll in my program or not, these are the tools you need. So remember, number one, root out the fear behind childbirth. Number two, trigger your relaxation response. Three, prepare and condition your birthing body. Four, identify the stages of labor. Five, find comfort during labor and birth. Mainly mindful birth becomes your secret weapon. All of your answers in one place. Create a calm birth experience. Eliminate any unnecessary interventions. Bond with your baby. Have a birth experience to treasure for a lifetime. 
The premium Mainly Mindful course includes the 12 video modules, birth intention workshop, which is 30 minute session to help you decide what your priorities are for your birth. Plus you'll get the postpartum action plan, how you can prepare for life after baby is born, including standard hospital procedures for the baby. Facebook group support and email access are available and someone will always answer your questions. And you'll have a virtual birth coach through group coaching video chats that are available each week. We dive deep into the most important action items to prepare for birth. With myself and other expectant parents, you'll have a fun, supportive environment to continue learning, growing, and bonding with your baby. Now, I know everyone is at a different place financially, and we've been there too. If you want to take the course but learn more on your own, at your own pace with Facebook group support, we'll give you access to our 149 program today for just $97. You'll get everything minus the group coaching. You'll still get the postpartum action plan, email support, and the birth intention workshop. You might be wondering if you really need a birth coach or training and support. According to studies published in Biomed Central, the results of international studies demonstrated that participation in childbirth preparation classes can be associated with increased confidence in women for labor and childbirth, decreased labor pain, and moderated the need for analgesics during labor due to reduced anxious feelings. They promoted successful breastfeeding and improved women's relationship with the healthcare professionals and to eliminate unnecessary interventions, to eliminate fear and possibly reduce the risk of trauma during the birth experience. The value truly is priceless. Here's what Hannah says. Laura is amazing at what she does. Her education class put myself and my husband at complete ease. She is genuine and passionate and I highly recommend her to anyone looking to learn more about all of the joys of labor and childbirth. Thanks, Laura, for teaching me how to believe in myself and my body, says Bodhi. As a partner on this journey, I felt that the class helped me to feel calm and collected. We were confident that our home birth was the right choice for us, and the class enabled us to begin our lives as a family in a positive way. Laura is very knowledgeable and has a knack for helping couples feel at ease as they learn that pregnancy and birthing are very natural experiences. Laura's compassion is apparent as she instructs the course, and we gained so much knowledge and confidence in preparation for the birth of our second child. I know it sounds like I'm tooting my own horn, but it's really just a matter of love for what I do. I believe in you, and I want to help you have the best birth experience possible. Questions often asked. Is this a natural childbirth class? Well, it is geared to helping you achieve a physiological birthing experience for sure. And the techniques taught can be used throughout any childbirth experience. We always recommend keeping a flexible attitude toward childbirth. The most important outcomes, of course, are a healthy mom and a healthy baby. And it can be hard to distinguish when an intervention is one of safety or one of convenience. So one of the primary objectives of this class is to empower you in decision-making around your birth. By setting intentions, knowing your body, and knowing the process, you're more empowered to give birth your way. Next question is, when should I take my childbirth class? Well, you can take the course anytime in your pregnancy, but if it is on the early side, we must really be dedicated to keeping a daily practice to keep it fresh. There's a lot happening to get ready for baby, and we don't want you to lose what you learned in the shuffle. Will I learn about pain management? Yes, from a holistic perspective. We show you how to trigger the production of natural pain relief in your body. An epidural is always an option, and we know that use of an epidural turns off the natural pain relief production. We also know that chances of a cesarean are increased if you use an epidural. We'll show you how to avoid these interventions. We are 100% confident in women's ability to birth in a calm and relaxed way. Will I learn birth positions? Yes, birth positions are critical to a calm birth. We'll go over them and each woman needs to discover what's best for her experience. We'll have a printable sheet to bring to the birth room and we encourage getting comfortable with a few before the day, special day. Should my partner come to the class? Absolutely. Whoever will be joining you for support through your birthing experience is highly encouraged to take part. 
We dedicate a section to the partner, giving them tools and resources for the delivery room. Click the button below and enroll in the program. We can change the social norms for childbirth together. One awesome birth at a time. Embrace your birth. Again, the premium mainly a mindful birth course, you get the 12 video modules, birth intention workshop, a 30 minute session to help you decide what your priorities are for your birth experience. Plus you'll get the postpartum action plan, how you can prepare for the time after the baby is born, including standard hospital procedures for the baby. Facebook group support and email access is available and you'll have a virtual birth coach through group coaching video chat starting this week. Today, it's just for $2.97. And for just $97, you'll still get email and Facebook group support minus access to the live Zoom sessions with me. Plus, you'll get the postpartum plan, the email support and birth plan workshop and Facebook support. Click the buy now button and get started today. You'll get immediate access to the course, and Facebook group and email access as well. I so look forward to working with you.